Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Ender Lilies. In the last episode, we gained we gained our Perry boy. We ended up here at this nice little bed in the middle of the old village. There's a few places where we're looking to find some stuff, and there's a bit of backtracking that I think I might be able to do. I haven't played this game in forever. Yeah, we can go through here. Um, we're gonna start off by quickly going back through the backtracking, and uh, then we'll continue on our path forward. Thank you guys all for watching and sticking through it. I know it has been a while since I last played because of college, but I am very excited to continue playing this alongside my Devil May Cry series, which you may have seen on the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you stay uh, and enjoy. Now I have to remember there's the dodge button. Okay. And that's the heal button. And if I remember correct, okay, yep. Sorry, it has been like two months since I played. Give me a break. Oh. The the dog got stuck. See. I forgot how hard, how much damage this game deals to you. Oh great priestess, I beg of you, free me from the blight. Okay, I will take your stuff, thank you. I need to use my parry. Um, I remember doing some testing after the last episode, just walking back through where we were. That parry deals so much damage, it's not even funny. And I messed up the parry there. At least. <laughs> I just have to time it like that. As you saw, 315 damage is quite a fair bit. Um, how, how do I use you? There, yeah, you hit it. I remember... I remember, it's been a while, okay? It's been a while. This is me walking back through, essentially trying to get my bearings. Okay, cool. We've made it back through the backtracking. See you guys all back where we started the episode. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. There's an up. I want to see something. Oh my gosh, I can make that? Chain of Sorcery. Additional relic slot. See, and that's why we stay there. I might be able to make that, actually. I'm curious. Hang on. Hold up. No. No, cannot make that. Alrighty, well, we're back. Um, I now feel like I need to see if I can use anything with that extra slot, so give me a moment. Let's see, we now have an additional relic slot. Reduce damage from enemies. We have increased spirit usage. Slightly increased. Ooh. Ooh. This might actually be big. A lot of the... The parries are all going to be on the ground, essentially. Imagine buffing those parries to high health. In fact, I, I kind of want to play this high risk, high reward parry build. And yes, I do know we also have our spell build, which does exist. And I just realized there's another way to go. Well, we love our water paths first. Let's go there first. <laughs> Where the music go? Why there no music? Oh, hello. Dead thing. Furious Blight. More. I don't like how there's just no music and I'm just ominously in a lake I can't go through. That's wonderful. 
We love finding all of these dead ends. Okay, I feel like I've restarted this episode five times now, essentially. Um, let's continue on the way the game clearly wants us to go. I don't like this. Hi, buddy. Y you're a boss, aren't you? Y you're a boss, aren't you? You're a big, stompy boss, aren't you? Well, time to test my parry. Oh boy. Here we go. Gerard. Nope. Oof! Ow! Oh, Jesus. Okay! Hello! Attack me. <laughs> Got wait. Um Um He's not taking a lot of damage. Oh boy. I'm taking a crap ton. Uh Oh boy. Just sit there. Did he heal? Ow. I just stood there and took it. Like a dumbass idiot. Hello. Okay. We might die. I mistimed the parry. Whoops. Well, um, hmm, at least there's this save point right here. I did not know that was there, and now I am like, oh god. Hmm. <laughs> Makes me feel bad, because I feel like last episode everybody was like, aha, he's about to fight Gerard. Oh. Of course my first foray back is, hi, yeah, fight Gerard. Ow, messed that up. Oh. I messed that up again. Because my parry is on a weird button. Just tank it. Oh boy. Ow, I messed that up. He hits over himself. Got it. I literally stood in the one spot that that parry would not have worked. What the frick? I didn't even get this far.
What the hell? Oh boy. Jesus. I didn't realize my parry was not off cooldown. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be here a lot today, aren't we? I can feel it. Alrighty. Let's try this again. I got caught in... I messed up there. I messed up the parry. Messed that one up. Ow. That was my bad, and I didn't even get him in the face, too. Gerard is my rust remover. <laughs> oh, I messed up there. Fight's going good so far. Ow. Okay. Got him. Ow. Fight is no longer going going good so far. <laughs> I should have jumped. Yep. Alrighty. He got faster now. Oops, messed up. Did the wrong direction. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, he wombo comboed me there. Come on, Gerard. I know I can fight you. Oh, jeez. I messed that up there. I messed that up horribly. got that return parry.
Got him. Woohoo! Oh. Run. Heal. Okay, he's gonna do that. What? Oh, nope, I definitely messed that up. I tried to do a returnal. Jesus. Just getting little pokes off. Okay, come on. Oh, I thought that was his charge. And even then it looks like I wasn't in the correct distance for it. Oh, I messed up. We done. I tried to get that parry. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the charge, and I mistimed the parry. But that's Ow. Ow. Well. I mean, I did the parry wrong, but... Ow! See, this is really good boss design, in my opinion. It's challenging, but it feels very fair in the type of challenging it is. He's gonna go that mode. And I messed up. That's his shard. Can I stand spray him in this mode? Come on. Oop. Almost got him. Went the wrong way on that, but it's fine. Okay, last heal. Okay, come on, just be tactical. Beat him! Stand sprigs on this mode. Come on. Just be tactical and smart. 
then play to your strengths. You can get him. Wrong direction parry is not what gets him. Come on. Of course he's on one health. Do I dare go for the parry finisher? Nope. <laughs> I mean, unless... I messed up. <laughs> Look, it almost killed me. I am pretty sure I'm on one health. But it's okay. It's okay. We won. The blighted scum. How could they? Oh. Get purified. That was a hard fight. Oh my gosh. I hear the muffled voices of the villagers outside my shack. They fear what I have become upon my return from the fortress battle. I chose to become an immortal knight to protect them all. There are days I wish I would be purified, but... Oh! The priestess of the fount must not be made to carry that burden any longer. He... After some time, I hear the voices again. He became infected on purpose? But this time, they belong to the white priestess and a child. The priestess, once but a child herself, now cuts a radiant figure. I no longer know the pleasures of joy, but despite this, my cheeks widen a grin. That's me! When madness takes me, will this little one be made to carry the burden? I don't know how long my consciousness will hold out. But as long as I am myself, I will be a shield to protect them from harm. He became blighted on purpose. The pain I will endure is nothing to end this suffering. <laughs> Okay, so, mm, as much as I love your boss fight, that's, like, really dumb of you, man. Like, I get it, if you're gonna die, die in a way that lets you live a little longer, but, like, in the end, you cause more harm than not by choosing to become blighted and not choosing to get purified in any way. So, I mean, in one way I understand, but on the other way I think he's dumb and stupid, but Gerard, the Elder Warrior, swings a heavy, powerful hammer slowly, but with force and range enough to blow enemies away. A giant of a man once dubbed the finest knight in the kingdom. He was a symbol of glory and a hero, of, hero to his village. His altruism made his demise a lonely one. Giant's Hammer. While airborne, weak and ground pound, I'm pretty sure is what that means. Elder Warrior Gerard dives and unleashes a shockwave upon landing. Can break pustulant ground, the greater the height, the more powerful the shockwave. After leaving up, you can perform a dive attack by, yeah, doing that. The impact of the dive can break through pustulant ground, impenetrable by normal attack. Some pustules are tougher than others and can only be broken by diving from on high. I might not use you because heavy doesn't really feel like this game, but at the same time, I really feel like it. He protected the village to the very end. A brave warrior indeed. I do want to see how much damage he does, and then we're going to have a roundup, <laughs> I think. You were in his memory. Did you two visit him often? Fury. Uh, well, you were a really good fight, and I thank you for the time you provided. That was, in all honesty, one of the best fights I think I've had in this game so far. And to think I was inches away from doing it last episode. <laughs> well, it's been good. I'm going to quickly swap over. Let's go do a roundup of all the things up until this point that we have seen that need him. See how strong Gerard is. Oh, you only get the one attack. Oh, and you are committed. 
Yeah, you can't move that whole time. There's no... I mean, you can cancel the... You can cancel the forward shove by, like, holding back. You can't cancel the movement, though. Um, I'm gonna quickly try out against this enemy. <laughs> he does almost as much as our parry does. And if he doesn't kill, he staggers. I think he might be really good just for getting around the place. I don't think he's really... That's, that's a good instance of when he's not good. I don't think he's good for any big, fast attackers that are going to make it harder for me uh, by using him. Oh yeah, we also have his aerial, which does keep us in the air for a very long time, so that is a benefit. <laughs> I forget how... Oh my gosh, he launches. I'm... I don't think I'm gonna use him. I, I really like it. He seems too slow to me. Now, somebody in the comments can tell me whether they think he's better. And I might listen. Who knows? You might be able to convince me. But as of right now... I see him as too slow. And we now have Gerard's and uh, Blighted and Purified Memories. I will also mention, apparently we were supposed to fight Gerard first, at least based off of how the organization of the memories go, which, I'm gonna be honest, I cannot imagine fighting Gerard first. That looks insane to me. Oh god, I have so much I have to go back through. Uh, well, off we go. So, I was dumb and walked all the way back to the start. Yeah, I'll be back. See, another thing is part of me not having played the game since the last time I made a video on it. Um, I forgot all the locations of everything, so it's like trying to basically speedrun through the whole game in search of one tiny thing, and said tiny thing is hyper specific, and I don't remember exactly where it is. Also, I will say, though, it is really nice being able to walk through here and next to one-shot all of these enemies. Like, see? Look at that. I think... Either I've walked past it, or I'm about to find it. Yep, there it is. I remember you. Alrighty, let's go climb up and claim, ow, as I get hit by one of the easiest enemies in the game. Let's go climb up and claim Falling Lily. Pick up a chain of sorcery for a new relic slot. Oh god. Oh wait, our golden are golden rooms things that I've cleared? If so, I'm really dumb. And that's a nice little map trick that I'm very happy they included. Because that tells me so much, actually. Yeah, no, now I know exactly where I need to go. I'm, I'm gonna test out this theory that golden maps rooms are where we're supposed to check out things. Where... See... If I were... If I were something hidden here... 
that that boy has not seen yet, where would I be? Have I not dived down everything? I apparently did not dive down everything. I apparently still have not dived down everything. I straight up left like half the things. Found another new item literally 10 feet away from where I was. Yeah, yeah, that is how it works. Oh no. I have found another use for Gerard. There we go. Ten stagnant blight. And the room is golden. Onward! <laughs> oh, I was going to say another good news. At least I now learn this so that I can use this for everywhere, essentially, and know when I am done. Like, this essentially just told me, hey, here's how you get 100% in this game. Yep, I did remember, right? There was one right here. I feel like the platform I'm on right now should have just fallen. But yay, 10 Furious Light and another golden room! Well, so I also think I just found a room that I can't golden. I'm pretty sure part of the reason why I'm unable to golden this room um, is because the right hand side, if we remember, is a really, really, really tall ledge right there <laughs> that I can't get to that I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get to so sadly this one's off the golden list ah I have also found I think the reason why we can't get this room golden see that treasure chest the only spot I see that may even remotely be able to jump to it from is that spot right above me. Now, issue, I definitely cannot make that. So this room's also off the gold list. We haven't gained enough speed for the room that's down there. I remember what that room is. No? Okay, I just realized we have a golden room with an unentered entryway, so that's also false what I said last time. Um, but I do know that that room that is down to our bottom left is definitely not clearable. We are still not fast enough to cle clear it. I just realized where I had missed in this room. Nope, never mind, that wasn't something I had missed in this room. Or at least the only thing I had missed in this room. I'm starting to think that this room, much like the other room, has something in it that I just simply can't access yet? Or don't even know that I can access it yet. Like, I've walked essentially everywhere in this room. Whether it be on this life or the last one, because yes, I died. I... I've gotten, like, basically everything. My, my one thought is maybe it's like an added secret that's in here that I just don't even know about. Also, that's really nice to know. Um, but like, even then, you know, like, it's gotta be a really hard to find secret if I've scoured almost the entire thing, killed almost every enemy, twice over might I mention. Still can't find it. So yeah, I'm considering this lumped in as something that I simply just don't have the ability to quite yet unlock. 
question mark? Like, I swear, this area gives me the thought of maybe we get flight in the late game. Like, maybe there's something that's out there. Like, there is a random ledge right there. Why would they have a ledge right there? Like, I, I've already seen that back all the way at the beginning, there's something that I can't get to yet. So, I, I feel like everywhere that is left down here is something that requires either another jump or basically, yeah, like another jump essentially is what I'm thinking is needed for the rest of everything down there. And now we head right back into the village. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that guy taunting me with the triple jump. I think we've officially also reached the stage of the game where I can say I am 90% sure we get another jump as an upgrade. Or, at, like, another jump at least. Flight would be, like, my insane guess of like oh yeah you want to see something crazy yeah we get flight because i mean we've got wings i'm pretty sure from my understanding of yep we don't have access to that because we need the other route that's where we got the giant's ring my understanding of the wings at least from what i have seen while like scrolling through the quest here I'm betting there's another, there's another, um, another person like, uh, Bridget, or what was her name? The, why, why do I not remember? Um, we have, Seagrid, Seagrid, why did it, why did I call her Bridget? I don't know. We get another character very similar to Seagrid, I'm pretty sure is like one of the later spirits in the game. It's just where do I get do I get flight? Do I get another jump? Like what is it essentially? Also yes, as you saw there, I have gotten to the point where I am kind of no longer caring about the damage I am taking. I am just going. Amulet frag, furious blight. Yay, a gold room. Look, I have essentially respan speed ran through the game. Excuse me. Look, I was being dumb. <sighs> Look, as I was trying to say, as someone who's essentially re-speed ran through the entire game looking for essentially one little subset of items, I can assure you I'm I I definitely am no longer caring about the enemies that do that, even though I should. Going and Alrighty, now we're finally in here. And this has a new room to go into as well. Oh, hello. You're a new enemy. You did exactly what I think you were going thought you were going to do. Oh my gosh. We have gained so much additional relic slots. Oh! Box neck! As I fail to kill it. There we go. Our 
are you kidding me? Like, the game is making a joke out of it now. Like, haha, uh -huh, if only you had a third jump. Hmm, I wonder what you would do with that third jump, you know? I'll tell you what I would do with that third jump. I would beat you. I would beat you, game. That's what I would do with it. Alrighty. Let's actually go through this room because this is new area. Why are they so explosive? What is down here? Any secrets? I'm... I'm sorry. You can't do that to me. Like, oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna unlock a sideways version of that. <laughs> that I also now need to remember about. That's, I think, the first one of those we've seen. Oh, and we've golden this room because we can't get into the rest of it yet. That's wonderful. That, you know what, that's, that's really wonderful. That's unbelievably wonderful. There's, wait a minute, we, we have the way down into there. Yep, it's again another one of those, uh, hey, did you know that you can triple jump later in the game? I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna keep looking around here, but I'm, that's what it is. It's another, hey, did you know that you can triple jump later in the game? Alright, now on to the secret that I'm 99% sure that we can get into. Yep, this one. We need to find a good spot to jump off of. I'm thinking it's on top of this building. Boy. Shush, I did not just die. Did I really find one that's blocked behind a triple jump door? That's like an extra punch in the face, like, oh hey, yeah, it exists, but you definitely need triple jump to get into it. I am in agony. Yeah, it's literally a one more jump thing. Oh, oh, wait. That's one I can do. <gasps> uh, new secret. Okay, never mind. I found it. I found one that actually let me. And another secret. This room has so many secrets left in it. We've already golden that room. But we have not golden top room. Probably because triple jump. So either we're getting it soon or we're not getting it for a while is my call. We get triple jump very soon or we don't get it for a long, long while. Well, <laughs> I mean, with that, we're going to end exactly where we started last episode. Or this episode. <laughs> it's been so long that it feels like I've recorded two episodes. Thank you guys all for watching. It's been a good one. Uh, I'm excited to continue. But good god, this is just gonna be one hell of an onslaught and... Uh, we've definitely got a lot of searching left to do. I mean, furthermore, I have to go back into that room. Yeah, you know what? Here, let's end over there, actually. Thank you guys all for watching. It's been a fun one. 
I'm very tired and not looking forward to fully, you know, doing all this, but, er, but we'll make it work. I'm excited to continue next time. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye